So I cry at anything to be honest recently. <laughs> Right, this was just delivered. Woo! This was the kitchen that I drew. <laughs> the clippers have died. Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing very well and you are having a lovely start to your new year. I'm back with a weekly vlog. I thought I'd do a weekly vlog just because I haven't done one in forever and we're spending obviously, I mean we're at home permanently now for the foreseeable so I thought it'd just be nice to take you along for the updates. We've got a couple of well, somewhat exciting things happening this week. I'll get into it in a bit. Just made some lunch today. On Monday, we went and did a food shop, which is exciting. Um, I'll show you what we got. I'm about to have my lunch. Which is a Naked Glory vegan burger with pickled cucumber, um, sriracha, lettuce, and some tempura style onions with some ketchup and some sweet potato fries. And we're about to watch Bridgerton on Netflix. We're on season, well, season one, episode five. If you haven't seen it yet, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. It's like a period drama. It's a bit funny, but um, it's also like got a really good storyline. So I was here, by the way. Obviously, we're both still working from home, so this is our new working setup. How's the burger? It's delicious. Is it nice? Yeah, really Are you nice. You're not just saying that. I'm honest. Amazing. I didn't get snap. Honest. <laughs> honest. I didn't get napkins, so I'm sorry. That's okay. It's perks of the dress. Perks of the way. <laughs> So we finished lunch and we are at our new working from home setup, which is um, where we've spent the last 2020, only the tables moved. <laughs> and that's what makes we it new. We have it sat here. Like this yeah. Zara's facing that way, so she's facing towards me, I'm facing towards Zara, but we can both get some lovely bleak views star. of London. <laughs> Anyway, we're, we're, we're doing good. We've started our first official day of like work work. Both powering through, which is good. I feel like I need to make myself a coffee because I'm really flagging today. And then um, we have a tumble dryer arriving today in the next between five minutes and till five o'clock. So today uh, it's three o'clock now. And um, thank you all so much for your recommendations about tumble dryers, heated um, dryers, like heated clothing racks, I think that's what they're called. Um, dehumidifiers was a really popular one as well. I assessed everything and basically we're spending so much time indoors. This is, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see, that's where we're drying our clothes. And we just want to have as much space as possible inside. So having the drying racks up plus a dehumidifier would have just kind of not really helped that much. It would have dried them better, definitely. But um, yeah, we've also, gone for it. Also, sorry, our hallway will now be warmer because I think because we have the clothes blocking the heat yeah, so much. That's true. It's our raised, sorry, she's behind the computer screen. It's our raised a valid point that because the clothes are in front of the radiator, the heat will now go through the hallway and hopefully to the rest of the flat. A lot of you also have said, like, Luke, why do you not just put the heat on? Stop being tight. We do put the heat on, but the flat is very big with very high tall ceilings we've got really big double bedrooms so again a really good position to be in but it just means we need a lot of heat to keep it warm constantly and um i said to zara maybe the time has come for us to invest in some curtains we don't have curtains because we don't really get overlooked by anyone as such apart from those guys so um yeah we're fine we're all good so i'm just gonna crack on with a bit more work um and then yeah i'll let you know when the tumble dryer arrives <laughs> Just, um, well, I'm nearly done work for the day. I had a call from the delivery driver to see it. our tumble dryer is on route, which is very exciting. I mean, this is the exciting life we're leading, guys. This is pinnacle lockdown excitement. We aren't in a lockdown um, yet. yet. Apparently, the Prime Minister's announcing that at 8 o'clock this evening. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, you will know this by the time this video goes live. So whether we are in a lockdown, ideally... Um, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, we, we'll just take each day as it comes as we always have done and we always will do And um, then we're going to make some dinner this evening I don't think I'm going to vlog the dinner But I'll show you at the end because that's going to come in a separate video that I think will be live before this one So I'll link that down below <laughs> I'm such a boss at the moment though. <laughs> Taking down Christmas trees, dismantling dishwashers, I mean um, tumble dryers Bless you, right, this was just delivered, woo! The delivery guys were really handy and um, they just dropped it off in our stairwell, obviously didn't come inside, so that's great. This is it. Just going to quickly unwrap it and then we're going to tuck it in the corner. So the tumble dryer is installed. This is brilliant. It's by 
bush um we got it on argos i'll leave a link down below if it's still available it's for a really really decent price and because obviously we're in a flat and um, we needed to get one that was a condenser so it has like this which is where all the laundry water goes and um, obviously you can reuse the water which is great so you can use it to water your plants and um, so yeah really really happy with it and obviously it fits in the space perfectly and that means we can tuck the drying racks in the side so they're just like slid away and then we just pop the um barberina recycling thing that we just need to empty so um yeah really happy with that this is the highlight of our lives now getting a new appliance which is great but we recently got the microwave as well so it's just nice to actually have things that we can use and just make the home well make the flat a little bit more homely which is just fab so I need to take this recycling down to the refuse centre and then I need to pop some laundry in and we can do a wash. Okay, so this is what we've made for dinner. This is a asparagus pea and chestnut mushroom risotto topped with vegetarian parmesan and a little bit of olive oil. I can confirm we have the tumble dryer on and it's just a joy. I feel like we've got our lives together. <laughs> we're gonna dig into this and then we're gonna watch some Netflix. Hello, so today is the 6th of January. I didn't film yesterday because yesterday was actually really busy. Um, I did a very exciting thing. I took over the Zoella Instagram account if you um, don't know who Zoella is. Um, it's an Instagram account founded by Zoe Sok who is a YouTuber. She's fantastic, she's so lovely. Um, and the team reached out and said, would you like to take over the Instagram stories? So they did a lot of bacon, it was lovely, and um, I think they might have saved it as a highlight, so I'll link that down below if you want to watch it. I made some cinnamon buns, and we're eating the delicious <laughs> rewards that we made yesterday. These are so good. Oh my god, they smell amazing. Arguably the best cinnamon bun recipe I've ever, ever tried. I've made a lot, <laughs> let me show you. But I did make, I think it was like nine large cinnamon buns, so I'm having one and a half, and Zara's got the other half. She's just at work currently, and she is behind her screen. I've just got a coffee here, Zara made me an oat milk. Um, latte. This is very much how our Monday to Fridays usually are, just at my desk. Um, I'm currently editing a video that you guys have already seen. Nothing much else to report on really, it's very much just same old, same old. We've got a very exciting parcel arriving at, um, I think it was between two and three today. It's like a dinner kit box, I'll show you more about it later on, but what I'm gonna do is have my coffee, eat my cinnamon bun, and then crack on with this edit. Uh huh. Oh my god, incoming video call. Paused. Hello! Let me come off my Wi Fi. Hang on, I'm literally. Bear with me. I'm literally vlogging, so let me pause this. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so I've just finished up doing some emails, and a very exciting box has arrived, as I said earlier. It's kind of like a meal kit. I'm going to show you what it is. It's dinner this evening, and it's very exciting because we're not going to be cooking it. Well, we kind of are, but not from scratch. So this is by. Um, Home by Nico, and I visited their restaurant in London called Six by Nico. It's um, just off of Tottenham Court. It's kind of in like the Fitzrovia area, and it's just such a lovely restaurant. But obviously, with restaurants being closed, they brought home by .com. So this, I think, is just available in the UK, but it's essentially a whole dinner kit for two. We've gone for the vegetarian option, which includes a bottle of gorgeous wine. This is the French version, so it's kind of like all French fruits. So we've got a potage. Promontier, which is kind of like sweet potato, like no, actually normal potato with baby leeks. We've got sauté Jerusalem art talk, potato dauphinoise. Um, this is dessert, I think, served with apples and bramble chutney. Um, Charlotte Russe, and we've got a mushroom bourguignon. All of the sauces and dips. So um, yeah, that's going to be absolutely delicious. I'll show you this more a bit later on, but I'm very, very excited. Just for declarations, well, this was very kindly sent over, but um, yeah, this is going to be dinner. Okay, so I've just had a very lovely bath, and I've put on. A little bit of something a little bit smarter because we're gonna have a really nice dinner, as I said, by the box, the Home by Nico box. So I've put on a little roll neck, a little shirt. I'm gonna make a start on the starter. It's obviously all made, so it's just a case of like heating it up and assembling it. But I thought I'd show you quickly what's just arrived. So I watched my good friend uh, Ewan, Mr. Carrington's uh, H&M haul kind of thing, and um, I managed to grab some of the items that he did too, and I know, I'm sure he won't mind. Um, they were all in the sale, which is absolutely brilliant, and the quality of H&M, I, I usually place about like one to two orders from them a year, just on like some basics, and like some of the items that were in the sale, I've had my eye on for such a long time, like this shirt is gorgeous, like a brown shirt with like a studded detail and this was like I think it was like 12 pounds. I also had the H&M app which got me a little bit more discount as well. I got like a sweater. It's just like an oversized stone sweatshirt. 
I got a couple of roll necks because these are like my favorite thing. I literally, I'm wearing one now, I love them. I will link everything down below. It's kind of like this chunky camel colored roll neck. Maybe I'll do a try on haul tomorrow if you guys um, would be interested in that. This, which is like a brown cable knit sweater as well. Like I say, all of this was in the sale and I think this was 15 pounds and like the weight of this, like it weighs a ton. And the reason, oh, what, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> And the reason I actually did go on H&M was to buy some more of their organic cotton underpants, which are $9.99, and I swear by these. I am, um, yeah, I just think they're absolutely brilliant, and I was running low on them because underwear don't last forever. So, yeah, that's the main reason why I went on there. So, this is the starter we're going to go for. This is the um, Potage Primantier, I think that's how you say it. It's the um, it's basically the Chateau box. So we've got uh, latte, potato, velouté, smoked baby leeks, and Perlier's sauce. So you essentially just heat this up. So obviously this has all been pre-made, and then you finish off with this, which is the lovely sauce, Perlier's per Perisal de sauce. My French is terrible. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, dinner is served. This is the potato dauphin was mushroom stroganoff, Jerusalem artichokes, and we're also gonna have some cheese and crackers with it as well. This looks absolutely amazing. If you wanna get your hands on this, I'll leave it linked down below. We're about to dig in. Guys, we are so, f we're not cut out for three courses. I mean, we had quite a large soup for lunch and then we had soup for a starter. Mushroom bourguignon, which was absolutely delightful. Those artichokes, oh my God, I've got a cheese platter over there. I'm not gonna finish that. I'd say it's arguably not for three people here. So we're gonna have a little bit of a break before we have the blackberry, Charlotte Russe, and um, I might have one more glass of red wine. I'm not doing dry January, as I've already said. <laughs> It's too much of a um, it's too much of a rough start to the year to not do dry Jan, <laughs> to do dry January. Sorry, does that make sense? Probably doesn't. Hello, good morning. It's Friday. Why are you here? I'm not happy to see Friday because you asked me to sit down. <laughs> do you want to make me a tea? Yeah, I'll make you a tea. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hi. Today is Friday, and we made it through our first official working week of. The week of January of 2021. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, today's Friday 8th of January. <sighs> it's been a week. It's been a week. I think it's always harder to get back into work once you've been away from it. So it's just like I've been trying to tie up everything that I didn't manage to tie up from last year. Um, I did my tax return, which has just been a bit of a mission. But um, yeah, we're good. Today is Friday and um, obviously we are in a lockdown in the UK. So... We're not going to be doing anything outside. We're going to be indoors for the full weekend. Um, hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Lovely. I started my Friday by paying a park and fine ticket thing. London's introduced these like consignment zones. They're called consignment control zones, which means you can't drive down certain roads now in London which is not great, so I paid a parking fine, which is um, always fun. But yeah, nothing else much has happened. Oh, actually, I did, oh, I did order myself a new um, desk chair to work because having had some time away from my desk, coming back to work and these chairs aren't the best. I have my like green velvet one, but again, it only supports your lower back and it's up here where it's getting really like knotted and tense. I'm noticing it when I'm running on a morning as well. It's where I'm like hunched over on my laptop. So um, I've ordered a desk chair, it was actually in the sale on Argos and um, they do like a buy now pay in six months time interest free which is great so I think it's really important especially if you are working from home currently um, to invest where you can for your spinal health. So um, yeah, that's all I have to report on this morning. Nothing else much exciting is happening but I think we're, um, what else are we doing today? We're going to have cocktails tonight mm. because we're going to celebrate our week. Yes, we're going to have cocktails this evening, which will be lovely. And I think, I think we're going to have a pizza too. And? And we're going to say three things we're grateful for. Yes, of course. Um, I'm grateful for you mm. because um, without you, I'd be going insane. Um, I'm grateful for you guys for watching. That's always lovely and really nice. And I'm also grateful for... I'm grateful for a lot of things. What are you grateful for? I am not grateful, actually. More happy. Mm. It can be happiness things. Happy that I decided to actually move my body this week. Yeah, so I started so I doing work. Three months of yeah, I'm grateful out. for my book I'm reading, which is really good. Happy with my book. 
Zara got a really nice thing at work, which was good. She's been working hard, very hard in her job, and she got um, some lovely news, which is great. We're grateful for a lot of things. We're fine. But um, yeah, today is the last working day of the week, and then we're going to wind down for the weekend, which I'll put in this vlog as well. So we've just took a quick lunch break to have, well, I'm having a delicious burger. Zara's having last night's leftovers, which is a Thai red curry. So yeah, this is a um, Nick Glory vegan burger with some cheese, pickled cucumber, um, sriracha meal, and lettuce. So I'm quickly going to eat this. I've also got my hot water bottle, just keep me nice and toasty. I'm um, going to quickly eat this, watch a bit of Netflix for our lunch break, and then get back to editing. Yeah, excuse the sound of the tumble dryer, I've just got a laundry washing. Um, we aren't doing dry January, as I've already said. We're going to have some gin and tonics. Well, so I was having gin and lemonades. It's from um, this very lovely brand called Newtown Gin. It's blackberry and winter spice. So I was going to have those with some of this, which we discovered it's summer. In summer, it's called um, Sparkling Cloudy Lemonade. It's gorgeous from M&S. And we also nipped into M&S and got some pizzas. So we're going to have a pizza Friday with some gin and tonics. It's like a proper weekend treat. And then we also got this one as well, which is a wood-fired ultra-thin Italian mozzarella and basil pesto pizza too. We're gonna have our gin and tonics and film of the evening we've chosen to watch is a film about me. <laughs> Pretty Woman. <laughs> Sarah's never seen Pretty Woman. Um arguably one of my favourite films. My mum absolutely loves this film. It's brilliant. If you haven't seen it, strongly recommend you do. It's got Julia Roberts in and um it's just She's the woman in Notting Hill, isn't she? She is the woman in Notting Hill, yeah. It's lovely. It's great. We're gonna watch it now. Good morning everybody. Hello. Today is Saturday. Oh, look at that morning light. Where is it? There it is. Oh my god, it's my daily dose of vitamin D. <laughs> it's about all we get in London, that one patch of sunlight. Okay, so today is Saturday, I've just made myself a hefty breakfast smoothie. We've had such a slow morning this morning. We just sat, had a coffee, read our books, and me and Zara have been speaking about just all kinds of things in life. We're just having a nice morning chat. Um, but today, as it's Saturday, obviously, so we're not chained to our desks as we usually are, so we packed away all of the work here. And um, we're gonna go for a walk because the weather is beautiful, let me show you. Ah, look at that sun! I know! Look at those blue skies. Oh, I feel like spring's on its way. Obviously the UK is still in a um, lockdown, so we're allowed out for like a exercise, so we're gonna go for a walk and then obviously come back and then that's it for the day really. But we're gonna be making some pasta from scratch, which is exciting. And I think that's it for today, isn't it? We're just making pasta. Yeah. I'm watching the rest of Pretty Woman, which we didn't finish last night because it's quite a long film, but it's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna have our breakfast smoothie, make ourselves a little coffee and a takeout mug, and um, yeah, go for a walk in our local park. <laughs> Came for a walk in um, Clapham Common. It's lovely, the sun is out, the sky is blue. We've got our gloves on, we just made ourselves a little coffee, which we finished. Summer is near. The what's near? Summer. Summer is near, well, feel it. spring first, love, and then summer, innit? Clapham's lovely, it's in um, southwest London, it's not too far from where we are, but it's just, it's really nice. It's a lovely walk. It's very green, let me show you. I mean, this is about, this is about as green as it gets in London with the occasional siren. <laughs> but yeah, the sun's out and it's looking gorgeous. Okay, so we're back from our walk. We just had a really quick bite to eat for lunch and now we're gonna make our pasta. I'm very excited about this because we haven't made pasta. When was the last time we made pasta? Lockdown. No. It would have been. Oh my god, it was. Yeah, we did the video. Actually, we made a video on it, didn't we? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll link the video that myself and Zara filmed in like May last year. I'll leave it up in that top corner. But um, yeah, it's essentially eggs, flour, Bacon, well. <laughs> I'll show you what you need. Yeah, this is the flour that I ordered. It's the Caputo uh, Typo Double Zero flour. I got it from Amazon. Probably wouldn't recommend getting it from Amazon because it was really expensive. You can get it in like loads of supermarkets. We just couldn't find an Eros. And you're gonna need some eggs. I work on a ratio of 100 grams of flour to one egg. So if you do 400 grams of flour, you need four eggs. And um, we're just gonna mix it on this clean surface and then pop it in the fridge to um, chill while we make the film. That was um, six eggs and, well, because they were small eggs, so it was six, six eggs and 500 grams of flour, so we've kneaded that and it's looking beautiful, lovely colour, so I'm going to pop that in the fridge and make the filling. Are we having espresso martinis? Yes! 
It's um, it's a Saturday after all, and we are we in lockdown. I was about to say we are in lockdown. No, I meant like to keep us awake. Oh right, okay. <laughs> The pasta dough is chilling in the fridge and we just popped some butternut squash in the oven to roast with some um, chili and garlic, so that's gonna be the filling. Okay, so we've roasted the butternut squash around 45 minutes in a 200 degree oven and we just mashed it up with some um, chili flakes and some dried sage and the roasted garlic. So that's the filling. And then we've just taken the pasta dough out of the fridge. So this is nice and chilled. It's got a beautiful color on it. So I'm gonna get the machine out, which is underneath, and then get rolling. So this is the ravioli, we just cooked it and topped it with a bit of the unsalted butter, parmesan, black pepper and fresh basil. It looks amazing. I'm gonna go in for the taste test and let you guys know how it is. Look at that, it looks fab. Okay, my camera battery just died, so I'm filming this in Zara's phone because our quality is much better. I'm gonna go in for the taste test. This is butternut squash and chili with basil. Mm. It's delicious, it's got such a kick as well. Oh my God, that's good. Wow, that looks amazing. Mmm! Oh, that's good. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and the last day of this weekly vlog. You've made it through a week with me. <laughs> it's our, um, was our first, first official week of lockdown three in the UK. So, um, we made it. We're okay. We're doing all right. I hope you are too at home. Um, I'm sending a lot of love. To you all, I know it's going to be a pretty challenging couple of weeks if you are in the UK or a month or however long we're in this, but um, yeah, sending lots of love. I hope you're all doing all right. We had a delicious breakfast this morning. Um, we made like a lovely vegetarian breakfast like beans, hash browns, avocado, toast, all the good stuff. I am, well, do excuse the hair. <laughs> so I was going to give me a lockdown trim this morning because obviously the barbershops are closed in um, England and the UK, so... So I was going to give me a little trim on the sides, which is always lovely. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep the beard growth. Let me know what you think about it. But um, I'm quite enjoying the length on the beard. It's keeping my face warm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to have a super chill day at home. I think we're going to have the leftover pasta that um, we made yesterday. So we're going to um, roll it out again. I think we're going to make some tagliatelle with it. And we had some leftover bolognese in the freezer. So we're going to have that for dinner. Um, it's just going to be another chill day at home, as it always is. I'm just watching a bit of Channel 4's Sunday Brunch. It's great. They get some lovely guests on and do some lovely recipes as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's what this morning's consisted of. I also just posted my first TikTok, which was interesting. I, um, I had a lot of people ask in like Instagram and also on YouTube if I'm on TikTok, and I was never... Um, on it. <laughs> I felt like I was a little bit too out of the loop and everyone was really cool on there But I thought you know what start of 2021. Let's try something new. So I've launched my own TikTok, which is Great. So if you want to follow me on TikTok by all means you can um, My handle is at Luke Catlaw. I'm gonna be posting lots of like food recipe videos on there because I just love how quick and easy they are. So this one was one that I posted this morning of the pasta. I put it on my Instagram as well So I'll leave my handles on the screen if you want to follow me over on there, but um, yeah, it's just really fun to kind of just share the behind the scenes. <laughs> it's officially haircut time. Zara is, Zara's turned into my lockdown barber. It's gonna be more long term than just. Just for lockdown. Yeah. The thing is, it's like going to a barber shop. You can make yourself a coffee. Because they usually be like, can I get you a drink, sir? And you're like, yes, Make I'll, your own. I'll have a coffee. So I have a coffee. And then um, they ask you what you want. What do you want? <laughs> but Zara always knows what I want because she's been cutting my hair since March. April. End of, no, it was like April time. Yeah? Yeah, be, end of March, beginning of April. So, um, yeah. Oh, also, if there's any gents out there watching this from the UK in the lockdown, I'll link the... Um, the clippers I bought from Amazon. I think they were 20 pounds, 25 pounds, and um, they're really good. And if anyone wants any tips, <laughs> message me. Why the memories sound like they're gonna die? I thought that. Did you there? <laughs> Cut 
clippers have died. Mark! The clippers have died. Um, <laughs> you are going to have to do the food shop like this. Are you joking me? <laughs> They've been charging. I won't link the clippers down below. They've just broke. <laughs> oh, God. I can't do this anymore. Dude. It's only been... Okay, how about we just try and... Oh, no, no, no. Completely off. It's, we're, we're one week into January. Tell you what. I can't do this anymore. Okay, so Zara, <laughs> Zara just finished up my um, haircut. It looks lovely. And we're having a spot of lunch. I am... Um, oh, let me show you. These are from Aldi. The like, they're basically like these cheese bakes. It's like a cheese. I don't even know how best to say. It's like a cheese souffle, but it's made with cider as well. It's just. Oh, is this it? Mature cheddar and um, cheese bake with, with Kentish cider. Yeah, they're from Aldi. Cooks in 30 minutes, and we just dip some. Oh my god, I'm just too salivating. <laughs> we just dip some bread in it, some pita bread. So that's going to be our lunch. We're going to share that and some hummus. <laughs> So we um we've just taken a break from watching a film. We're watching Titanic. It's quite a long film. It is quite a long film, so it's nice to watch it in stages. Um and we thought we'd do a bit of drawn because actually something I just told Zara, I used to really love drawn. I am um, in maybe another life, I would have loved to have been well I did actually want to be an architect when I was younger and I realised it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hard work and I don't know if like my heart was really in it, but I love to draw objects in still life. So yeah. I am, um, I've never really taught that, so I just got some of my sketching, oh, some of my sketching pencils out. And so I was like, I'm going to try and draw you. So what we're working with so far, not bad. My nostrils can definitely do with some work, but yeah, that's okay. Rubber. From American viewers, rubbers are erasers, not um, condoms. What's that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a lovely picture. Well done. Your eyebrows are bushy. Your nose is prominent. And your eyes are dark in the corners. Wow. That's how I describe it. That's that's lovely. <laughs> no, you don't have a prominent nose, that's so rude. Your nose is prominent, your eyebrows <laughs> are bushy, and you've got dark under eye circle. Thank you. No, dark I'll, um, corners for your eyes. I just said, I was like, let's just do, I'm gonna draw us our um our dream kitchen for a, whenever we get a chance to buy a house and renovate. <laughs> and um I'll show you that afterwards. This was the kitchen that I drew. <laughs> I mean um equally not as great, but for a, a rusty drawer who hasn't really drawn in a very long time. It's not bad. It's kind of like the idea we're going to envision when we... Maybe this can be our manifestation, the start of our manifestation I pictures. I think this is my manifestation of what I want you to wake up looking like tomorrow. Oh, sweet Jesus. So we finished Titanic. It was an emotional ending. It actually got me... It gets me every time. It's really sad. But anyway... Did you cry? I, I felt what? like it. I didn't. Did you not? No. Not really. <laughs> So I cry anything to be honest recently. So we obviously have lots of leftover pasta dough from um, yesterday. So what we're gonna do is make a uh, tagliatelle with this. And then um, we had some leftover spaghetti bolognese ragu from my um, three healthy vegetarian meal ideas. If you didn't check out that video, I'll link it up and also down below. Um, it was really tasty, but we made so much that we froze it. So this is kind of like a meal just from leftovers, which is a dream. So um, we're gonna roll it out and then cook it and then it's ready to eat. This is dinner this evening. This is the spaghetti bolognese tagliatelle with the, oh god, it's so good ragu. I'm gonna dig in. This is just uh, happiness in a bowl. We're finishing off our evening with a delicious warm cookie and a half with some vanilla ice cream. These are the um, cookies I make all the time. I'll link the recipe down below for you guys if you wanna make it at home. It's delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you've enjoyed a little insight into my week, uh, a week in lockdown. I mean, it's not the most interesting of things to film, but there's not really anything else going on. So I really hope you're enjoying just watching some time at home. Um, it would mean the world if you could give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be plenty more um, vlogs coming soon, I'm sure. Lots of love to you all. Stay safe and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.